We are going to use a chat room for responses, giving answers, giving questions like that. So let's take this opportunity to welcome Jasmine uh, to lead us into the opening prayer. Yes, Jasmine, you can come on. Yes, teacher. Yeah, you can lead us into the opening prayer. Okay, teacher. Let's have ourselves to the word of prayer. Oh Lord, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for teacher Tony. We thank you for Eddie Pai. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for this lesson that teacher Tony is going to teach us. Let it be blessed. Bless him. Bless teacher Tony that he's going to teach us in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. We can say amen. 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 Now, when I asked you to say amen, <laughs> does it mean you are supposed to, to shout? Uh, you, you just talk, just talk. <laughs> okay, uh, you are very funny. Okay, thank you so much, Jasmine, for praying for us. Then uh, there are those ones who were asking also that they want to pray. Uh, also, when we are closing the lesson, you are going to pray for us. Especially, Elizabeth, you said you wanted to pray. Trinity, you said you wanted to pray. So when we are closing the lesson, I will give you that opportunity to lead us into the, uh, into the closing prayer. Yes, uh, thank you so much members for coming once again uh, to this online learning. I really thank God for giving us the, another opportunity to meet online. I'm very grateful to God. Um, so I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you. Okay, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to welcome you to Edify e-learning project. Um, this project caters for every child. That's why here Edify is saying every child deserves to learn and flourish. So this project is fully sponsored by Edify Uganda. We are learning on this Zoom just free of charge because Edify has paid everything for the services that the teachers are giving you. And also this program is organized by Christian uh, Schools Owners Association. Uh, there are schools that are Christian founded, founded on Christian faith. So they have an organization called the Christian School Owners so they are the one mobilizing children to make sure that they learn online. Now, this project is also made possible by the technical team from ICT Teachers Association of Uganda. So you can see the partners of Edify that are working hand in hand to make sure that the, the project is a success, to make sure that every child is learning. So we thank you so much, Edify. Well, may God bless you all. Christian school owners, please, may God bless you all. And the technical team from ETAO. So please, members, um, for those of you who are just joining us, uh, for those of you who are just joining us for your first time, uh, this is primary four. This class is primary four. And the subject that we are going to learn today is science. Uh, this afternoon, I'm going to take you through science. Uh, this science, this science lesson is presented by a Kenya Tony, uh, the person who is talking to you right now. My name is a Kenya Tony, and the lesson that we are going to learn today is on uh, wook worms. So we are going to discuss wook worms. Uh, also, you can find me in case you want to contact me. I have my telephone contact there and even my email address is there. So whoever wants more clarification, you are highly welcome. So thank you so much and a good afternoon to all of you and you are welcome. Yes, so learners, as we are starting, I normally ask you to remind us uh, like what is the date today? I want a learner to tell us the date today. What is the date today? 
yeah, that is very important in a record keeping that on this day we learned about hookworms. So what is that date today? Yes, do I have somebody who wants to give me that date today? Okay, thank you, Angel. Angel, can you give us what is the date today? Yes, teacher. Yes, what is the date today? Today is Wednesday, 29, 2021. Oh, so Angel, when you are when you are trying to, to read this, uh, if I ask you in mathematics that write this in words, will you write it as 2021? No. Uh -huh. How will you write this? 2021. Very good. So can you say the date today, today? Uh, can you say the date today correctly? Today is Wednesday, 29, 2021. Okay. And you have missed the month. You need also to mention the month. Can you repeat now mentioning the month also? Today is Wednesday, 29 September 2021. Very good, very good, very good, my friend Angel. Yeah, so members, when we are reading that date, for example, that, that year, 2021, we should not read it as 2021. Because if I asked you in mathematics to write in words, and you write for me 2021, you will not get the marks correctly. But anyway, let's not go into that detail. So as Angel said that today is Wednesday, 29th September, 2021. Now, uh, what we are going to begin with before we start our lesson about hookworms, we are supposed to first of all go through the corrections for the questions that I gave you last time. So I gave you some of the numbers for the previous lesson on tapeworms and then on worm infection. So let's try to go through some of these, uh, some of these questions. Now, the question number one was, uh, what are parasites? What are parasites? And I remember setting you this question in a Google, uh, Google form, whereby you just go and select the answer. So what are parasites? Yes, Victor, can you try to define for us the word parasite? Victor, testimony. Yes, Victor. Yes, Tisha. Yes, what are parasites? Parasites are living org organisms that depend on others for food. Very good boy. Very good boy. So members, you have heard what Victor testimony has said, that parasites uh, said parasites are living things or living organisms which depend on other living things for food, causing harm to them. So that is what it means by parasites. So if you have some parasites uh, in your let's say the, the, the intestinal parasites, for example, the worms, like the wook worms, the tape worms. So if you have them in your body, you will not benefit anything from them, but for them, they will be sucking your blood. They will be eating the digested food that you have in your body. So they, they, you become the host, hmm? the host. You host those parasites and they feed on you and they can cause arms to you. Uh, just as we looked at uh, in a tapeworm, what they can cause. So uh, that is what it means by parasite. Then the second question we said, name three examples of worms. Name three examples of worms. Yes, uh, can you name three examples of worms? I can see Vicky. Yes, Vivian and Vicky. Can you give us one example of worms? Vivian and Vicky. Yes, Vivian. Uh -huh, we, have, we have tape worms. Very good, Vivian. Vivian and Vicky said we have tape worms. Very good. Uh -huh. 
Then um, any other person? Yes, I can see a lot of answers in the in the chat. So let me just write those answers. We have tapeworms. Another one we have thread worms, and also we have hook worms, and finally we have round worms. So these are examples of intestinal worms. They affect the intestines, as I showed you last time. The intestines. Okay. Good. Um, we can continue. Uh, we can continue with our corrections. There were some more questions. Uh, the next one is saying, uh, how do tapeworms enter our body? Good. That's a good question. How do tapeworm enter our body? Yes. Yes, Joram. Can you give us the answer which you wrote there, Joram? By eating half cooked meat. Uh -huh, very good. By eating I'm going a to half. Send it in the uh -huh. You have also oh. sent it in the in the chat. Eh? Okay, I'm going to send it. Okay, that is good. Uh -huh. Here, our friend Joram said through eating a half cook meat. Pork or meat. You can meat. talk of pork or meat for those of you who are eating pork. Uh, when Muslims, we talk of, they will get angry at you. Eh? Eh, the Muslims. <laughs> no, but okay, Joram, we are we are in a learning class. Uh, once you are in a learning environment, uh, what they are telling us to teach, you cannot avoid teaching it because you are fearing uh, some other religion. Eh? So we are supposed to, like in science, we can call it a spoon, a spoon. So I cannot come and say by eating a half cooked uh, meat that we get from this, we just have to be open. So for those of you who are Muslim, I don't want to discriminate, but uh, of course these are Christian school owners uh, project uh, whereby we are talking about the Christian best. So I don't hesitate to talk about pork because here we are dealing with the Christians also. So thank you, Joram. Uh, also, another question. Another question. They can say, uh, they say, it give three ways of controlling tapeworms infections. Now, you have already seen how tapeworm enter your body. Now, how do you control it? Here, through eating a half cooked pork or meat. That is the only way how we get tapeworm. Now, how do we control this tapeworm? Okay. How do we control step one? Now, somebody said by drinking contaminated water. No, we have to just use one, which we are saying through eating or by eating a half cooked pork or meat. When you don't cook your pork properly, when you don't cook your meat properly, and this animal was having tapeworms, automatically you are going to eat and get tapeworm in your body and it will affect you. So now how do we control tapeworm? Okay, what are the answers that you have put? Yeah, somebody said uh, by eating well-cooked food, that is correct, that is correct, eating well-cooked meat. So you make sure you cook your meat properly. The meat must get ready properly. So that is the answer also that I expected from you. Uh, somebody said pick me, and then somebody said regular, Deworming that is from uh, Kaiser. Kaiser said regular deworming that is very good. So you need to mm, swallow some tablets that can remove the tapeworm that you have in your in your stomach or in your intestines. So there are those deworming tablets. Once you swallow them, it will be able to remove uh, those worms that you have in your body. And then maybe finally you can talk of proper disposal of human feces because you can defecate or you can these worms can come out of the feces as you are defecating so once you defecate just in any place you remember some of these animals like pigs they eat feces so once you defecate anyhow they go and eat and once it has this step worm they will eat it and then at the end you will again go back and eat this uh, this pork which is half cooked and you will be suffering so these are some of the ways uh, that we talked about last time. So therefore, members, that has been the correction. 
And that work, I've, I'm going to put it in the Google Classroom, whereby you will be able to, you will be able to find it. Uh, you will be able to find it there. So uh, that is good. And then you will do that correction. Now, let's go ahead and look at what we are going to learn today. So we are going to look at uh, hookworms. Members, can we say hookworms? Can we say hookworms? Okay, Kaka, can we say hookworms? Hookworms. Hookworms. Can we say hookworms? Uh -huh. So that is what we are going to, uh, that's what we are going to discuss now. Now, under this, we are going to describe how hookworms look like. Secondly, we are going to talk about how do they enter our body or how are they spread, okay? How are they spread? Mm -hmm. Then when we look at how they are spread, then we can see what are the signs and symptoms once they are in our body? What are the signs? What signs do we see? And then uh, the next thing after looking at all this, we can see, yes, can it be controlled? Can we prevent it? Then we shall look at the prevention measures and we shall call it a lesson. So that is basically what we are going to, le to learn under hookworm. So uh, when I begin uh, like the description of hookworm, uh, if you look at hookworms, uh, here they are saying that they are tiny worms with the hooks. Okay, they are tiny worms with the hooks around their mouth. If you see the picture, if you see the hookworms, that they are very tiny. And in most cases, they say it once they come out of the feces, you may not see it with your naked eyes because they are tiny. So maybe they have to use a microscope in order to see them because they are very tiny, but they have the hooks. Now, what is the function of that hooks that they have? Okay, what's the function of that hooks that they have around their mouth? Okay, the hooks that they have, they use that hook to suck blood, to suck blood from the host. So therefore, if you are the host and you have hookworm in your intestines, they are going to use the hooks that they have. We shall be able to see the picture. We shall be able, I will display for you the, pic, the picture and you will be able to see. Now, the purpose of these hooks is for them to suck blood. They use it to suck blood from the host. Now, the host is that living things that is having the, 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 the worms or the parasites. Now, hookworms becomes the parasites because you will not benefit anything from them. They will be feeding on your blood and they will cause arms to you because sometimes they can lead to diarrhea. So that's why they are saying they can cause arms to you. So um, now we are also saying that in terms of their size, that they have one centimeter long. If you look at them, they are one centimeter long. Now, if you look at your ruler and you check one centimeter, that is the size. I wish everybody pick the ruler and see uh, if you have a ruler which is in your set, okay? If you have a ruler which is in your set, you can be able to see that this is one centimeter. This is the size of uh, a hookworm. Now, I might put for you a picture now, I don't know whether this can be a size of one centimeter, this one, uh, from here uh, up to here, okay? That, that is the, the size, and they are red in color, okay? They are saying they are red in color, but they cannot be seen in, in feces, okay? Even if you defecate them, you will not see them because they are very tiny. Now, this is how hookworms look like. This is how they look like. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Somebody is saying that he's not seeing my screen. Uh, I'll, I'll, oh, let me try to, I don't know whether everyone cannot be able to, I don't know whether someone can be able, whether people are seeing my screen and so that I know that the problem may be is for, yes, uh, you can tell me, uh, members, are you able to see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Namuli, are you able to see my screen? Yes, teacher. 
Okay. So um, sometime when we have a problem, yeah, sometime when we have a problem of network, uh, sometime you cannot see the screen. Once you have a problem of network, once your network is not stable. So try as much as possible to have a stable network. Okay, because majority are seeing. Now, this is the tapeworm, which they are saying is red in color. Now, I want to, to show you the part that they are saying they hook. If you look at this one, this is what they are saying they hook. Let me try to use another color, which is not red. Maybe this can be seen here. So, members, this is, you see the mouth. This is the mouth. And what you are seeing there, like the teeth, is what they are calling the hook. Okay, what you are seeing there, like the teeth, is what they are calling the what? The hook. And what do they use this hook for? They use this hook to suck blood. Now, there are two points that you should understand from here. They can ask you, what do hookworm feed on? What do they feed on? Hookworm, what do they feed on? Uh, can someone tell us that answer? Namuli. What do hookworm feed on? Ruth? The intestines. They feed, uh, yes, when they are inside the intestine, what do they feed on? What do they eat? They suck blood. Uh -huh, they suck blood. So, members, in other words, you can say they feed on blood. Hookworm feed on blood. Remember, we said that these worms, they either feed on digested food or they feed on blood. Now, different types of worms feed on different uh, things. For example, tapeworm, we said they feed on digested food. Now, today we are looking at hookworms. Hookworms, they suck blood. That means they feed on what? They feed on blood when they are, on your, when they are in your body. So we just need to make sure we control some of these worms so that they don't enter. Now, when they come to your body, the effect will be that they will, they will lead to anemia because anemia is a condition that you don't have what? You don't have enough blood in your body. So we need to control. So in other words, I was talking about uh, the hooks. So this is the hooks in the mouth, which they use it to suck what? To suck blood. Now, this is the tapeworm, which they said they are almost one centimeter long, but this is the, pic, the, the photos. And also they are saying the color is, it is red in color. As you can see here, it is red in color. But once, once you poop them, once you defecate them, they cannot be seen because they are very tiny. They cannot be seen, they are very tiny. So members, I hope you have understood the introduction about hookworms. Okay, in this point here, what I want you to understand from here is what hookworm feed on and what is the function of the hook? The function of the hook is to suck blood. What do they feed on? They feed on blood, okay? So this is the main point in this slide. Now let's go ahead and the, uh, Yes, I have Jonathan, before we go ahead, Jonathan has something to say. Yes, Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan, yes, can you come on, Jonathan? Sorry, Jonathan? Yes, teacher. Yes, can you ask the question? Teacher, do you go and see? Do? Do they yes. see? Yes, yes. <laughs> now you see they have the head you remember they have the mouth and the mouth is found in the head now if i have a i have a i have a, another photo whereby you have the even the eye i have another photo only that i've not put it here okay so these are living things okay yes yeah Okay, so members, uh, so basically, uh, let us go ahead and, and look at the next things. But in this slide, what I want you to understand from there is what do they feed on? Uh, secondly, um, secondly, what is the function of, uh, of the hooks? 
we said the function of the wood is to suck, is to suck blood. So therefore, uh, let's move to the next thing. Now, how do hookworm spread? How do they enter your body? Hmm? How are they spread? Yes. Is there anyone who has idea? For example, we have looked at tapeworm and we have seen that tapeworm enters our body through eating a half cooked meat. Now, what about when we talk about hookworms? How are they spread to us? Yes. Okay, let me see some response here. Uh, like Raja said, teacher me. Okay, you want to give me how they are spread? How hookworms are spread, Raja? Yes, Raja? Oh, somebody has written a very correct answer in the chat, but uh, we can also hear from Raja. Spread of hookworms. How are they spread? Yes. Oh, Raja, we have asked you, but you are not talking. Now let me give another person that is uh, Chirabo. Yes, Chirabo, how are they spread? And Amoni. Kaiza has written a correct answer in the chat, which we are going to display. In dirty water. They are spread through? They are spread through stepping in dirty water. Through stepping in dirty water. Now, stepping in dirty water, okay, thank you. We are going to, we are going to harmonize that answer. That is good. Let's hear different views from so others. Uh -huh, that one also is correct. Okay. Uh, walking barefoot, that is from Chigundu. Walking barefoot. Uh, Coral Elizabeth, you are saying not me. Now I'm going to pick you. Uh, Coral Elizabeth, can you also give us how hookworms are spread? I yes. don't know. Oh, you don't know. Mm. That is why you are learning today, okay? Mm. Uh -huh, thank you. Pay attention and listen to what your friends are going to say. Like uh, we have the Ntenza. Yes, Salom, can you also tell us? Salom? Chosen? By walking barefooted. By walking barefooted in dirty in that places, all right? Okay. Uh -huh. Any other? I think there are two ways how hookworms are spread. And uh, somebody also gave another answer here. Let me try to go through the chat. Oh, only that the chats are very many. I cannot now trace. But these are the answers that you have put in the chat. And I thank you so much. One, uh, we can talk of through the skin, they are spread through the skin when we walk outside with it, without shoes. When you walk in dirty places without shoes, then they enter through your leg in the skin. Okay, that is one. The second point, which I saw someone putting there, I can't trace, also eating contaminated fruits and vegetables. You know, vegetables like, um, the nakati, the dodo, when you eat them when they are contaminated, you can easily eat hookworms and it can affect you. So those are two ways how hookworms are, are spread. One, I said through the skin when we walk outside without shoes or sandals. Now you have seen some of you walk outside without putting on shoes. You walk in those dirty places without putting on shoes. You are looking for hookworms. Okay, we are going to see how hookworms are very dangerous to our body. So once you continue walking outside without shoes or without putting on the sandals, eh, then you are looking for trouble. So my P4 members, after learning this, make sure you put on shoes when you are walking outside. My P4 members, if you don't have the sandals, 
make sure you ask your mommy or daddy to buy for you sandals because you want to avoid hookworms. Okay. Then another point you can also talk about is uh, eating contaminated fruits and vegetables. Now, I want you to tell me some of the examples of vegetables. For me, I don't know them. Hmm. Yes, uh, Grant Birunji, can you tell me one of the vegetables? Birunji, are you there first of all? Uh huh. So you see, some of you sit on this and run away. Eh? They put on their phone and they run away. Now, let me try to pick Tina. Yes, Tina, can you give me examples of fruits and vegetables that you know? Tina? Tracy? Tina, Tracy, oh, they are not able to mute themselves. Uh -huh, Tracy, you have come on. Any one example of fruits that you know? Tina. Greens. Which greens? Uh -huh, examples of greens? Examples of greens that you are talking about is what I want. Yes, greens. But what are the examples of greens? Yes, Matthias. Matthias, can you give me examples of fruits and vegetables? Cabbage. Uh -huh, we have the cabbage. Avocado. That is, avocado mangoes. That is fruits. Mangoes, that is fruits. So when you get mangoes, Matthias, are you getting me? When you get the ripe mango, which has fallen down under the mango tree, and you eat it without washing yes. it, once it falls down, you never know the ground may be contaminated with these worms. So once you eat that mango, uh, mango without uh, washing it, then you are eating the contaminated one, and you, can, you are likely to get hookworms. Are you getting Matthias? Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. and then, then you also talked about the cabbage, you also talked about the, we have the nakati, and so on and so on. We should make sure that we first wash them before eating them, because once you eat them when they are like that, they can be contaminated. So members, this is, these are the two ways how hookworms are spread. Walking barefooted like we are saying walking when you are not putting on sandals or shoes. Hmm? These hookworms can enter through your skin because you are walking barefooted. Okay. Then, uh, then eating contaminated, uh, contaminated fruits, which our friend Matthias said we have mangoes, avocado, cabbage, and so on. So what are the signs? Now, if already you have hookworms in your body, what are the signs of hookworm infection? What are the signs that you are going to be seeing such that you can tell mommy that, hey, mommy, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this. Or I'm seeing this, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing this. Then you can tell that, hey, maybe you have hookworms. Let us do some deworming. Let us do this. Let us do this. So what are the signs, members? Hmm? What are the signs? Oh, very good. I have very quick learners here. Yes, Mukisa, can you give us one? Mukisa, can you give us one? Signs? Uh -huh. I've, yes, Mukisa, you are there. Can you give us one? Yes, Mukisa? You feel when you are not normal. Hey, you, uh -huh. What is that when, how do you feel when you are not normal? Is what I want you to be specific. How do you feel when you are not normal? Yes. So you be specific on the signs you get. Are you getting yes, Lisa? teacher. Uh-huh. You feel when you are not normal. 
Okay, we shall put it in a better way. Eh? Uh -huh. Somebody said, uh, so there are so many good answers that you are writing in the chat. Some of you are writing the, like if you talk about the, the stomach pain, that is not a sign. Uh, members, yes, let me teacher. Refer. When we talk about a sign, sign means something that you can see. You see it physically, you see it happening. That's the sign, okay? Then when we talk about the symptoms, symptoms is a, a person who is suffering from hookworm just feels it. For example, if I'm feeling headache, are you going to see that I'm feeling headache, members? Or if I'm feeling stomach no. pain, will you see that I'm feeling stomach pain? But how about when I'm coughing? Can you see that I'm coughing? Yes, teacher. Yes. How about when I'm diuretic? Yes. Can you see that I'm diuretic? No. Hey, diuretic, you can see. What if he's a baby? You can see. Passing out watery stool, you can see members. Okay? So when we talk about signs, when a question asks you to give signs, you should be very careful on the answers that you are going to give. Otherwise, if they ask you to give signs, and maybe you give symptoms, then you, they may not mark you correct. But once they ask you for sign, one, you can talk about diarrhea. We have already learned about diarrhea. What is diarrhea? Can you remind us? What is diarrhea? Yes, anyone who knows what diarrhea is? Diarrhea is the frequent passing out of watery stool. Uh -huh, the frequent passing out of watery stool. So there's, they are saying that somebody who has passing out of watery stool. Now, uh -huh, now let's keep quiet. After talking, I'm now explaining what you have, what you have explained. The frequent passing out of watery stool is what we are calling diarrhea. Now, somebody can use the word frequent. Frequent means many times. Mm? The passing out of water is stool many times a day is what we call diarrhea. Now, somebody who has hookworms in the intestines, that person is going to have diarrhea. Okay, that is one of the signs. Then another sign, another sign is loss of weight. Yes, if you see me, you can say, ah, hey, teacher Tony, you have, you have lost weight. You used to be a bit, uh, yeah. a bit heavy, but these days I'm seeing as teacher, if you have lost weight. Uh -huh. Okay. So that is what we are trying to, what we are trying to look at from here. Okay. Loss of weight, the loss of weight. The next one is coughing. Somebody who has hookworm is going to cough. Mm, Joram, do you know coughing? Mm, my friend Joram, when we talk about coughing, do you see that somebody is coughing, Joram? Yes, teacher. How about Akim? Akim, coughing, is it a sign or a symptom? It is a sign because you can see what? someone coughing. Okay? You can yes. see someone coughing. So these are some of the uh, some of the signs that we have. Okay. Then another one we can also talk about uh, the skin, the skin inching, the skin inching at the site of the penetration. Now, where hookworm has entered from, that part is going to be inching you all the time, inching you. If it has entered through your skin uh, at the foot there, that foot is going to be inching, okay? Inching <laughs> of the skin. And I've seen some people are writing that point also. That is very good, okay? The inching of the skin, uh, that was from uh, Kaiser. Yes, Kaiser has written the correct answer, inching of the, uh, of the skin at the site of the penetration. The site of penetration means the part where the hookworm has entered from. If it has entered from your leg, there will be inching. Maybe if you have swallowed it, even your throat may be inching. 
So the part where it has entered is what we are calling penetration. To penetrate is to enter, okay? Yeah, so uh, those are some of the signs. Uh -huh. Now it has one symptom, it has one symptom. A symptom is something that you cannot see, okay? Now here, the symptom is abdominal pain, abdomen. Okay, if you look at the lower part of your stomach down there, it is what we are calling the abdomen. So you will feel pain around that part. So these are some of the signs and this is a symptom. Okay, now, what is the effect? Can you tell me if you have, if you have hookworm, what do you think is the effect of hookworm? Effect is the outcome, the results. Hmm? How does it affect you if you have hookworm? Anyone to give us an idea? Yes. Yes, Sarah, what is the effect, Alit? Yes. Can you suggest, can you suggest for us the effects of hookworm? Uh -huh. So, yes. Now, remember we said, we said that hookworm feed on blood. They feed on blood. Okay. Now, the effect can be, the effect can be they lead to loss of blood in the body. They, least, they lead to loss of blood in the body eh? okay. since they feed on blood. I see. So once they feed on your blood, you will lose a lot of blood in the body. Teacher, it causes anemia. Anemia. So anemia is lack of lack of, lack blood. of, lack of blood. Sorry, lack of blood in the uh, in the body. So that's why this one is saying it leads to anemia. Okay, anemia is lack simply lack of blood in the body because these hookworms they feed on blood. So uh, that is the effect, uh, that is the one. So it is very dangerous for us to have this one. Uh -huh. Now, therefore, let us finally look at how do we control? I want you now to tell me how to prevent, how do we prevent hookworms? First of all, we know when we walk outside barefooted, we can get hookworms. Secondly, when we eat, contaminated fruits or vegetables, we can get hookworms. So now, how do we prevent? I need answers from my children and we can stop there. Yes, please. Yes, teacher. You, uh -huh, give us one way of preventing hookworms. By, by, de, by deworming. Very good, very good. Very, I can ask your friend to clap for you, members, can we give our friend a very big hand clap? Hey, people, some are not clapping, okay? Guys, you, you are not clapping. <laughs> okay, give flowers, give flowers, give flowers. Mm. Eh? So I remember when we are in the classroom, we say mosquito, mosquitoes. Can we do that? Mosquito, mosquitoes. Mm? Kill it. Yeah. Kill it. Mosquito, mosquito. Catch it. Uh -huh. Mosquito, mosquitoes. Mosquito, mosquito. Catch it. Kill it. Kill it. I'm not hearing you killing. I'm not hearing you killing. Mosquito, <laughs> mosquito. Yeah. Eh. Kill it. Squeeze it. Eh. <laughs> so Jasmine, we have been killing mosquitoes so that they don't they don't they don't spread malaria to you. Jasmine, we have been killing mosquitoes for you to give us correct answers, eh? Okay, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. now you will you will not get malaria because we have killed all the mosquitoes. Okay, so members, you can you can hear what Jasmine said that one way of preventing um, hookworms is regular deworming. 
you need to deworm yourselves. Please even advise your parents. After every three months, you can do the warming. They can buy for you tablets, okay? So let's get from another person to give us another answer. Juvenile, uh, is it Juvenile, please? Can you come on and give us? Yes, uh, Juvenile, please give us your answer also. By wearing sandals. Very good. By wearing sandals, by putting on shoes uh, when you are walking. When you are walking, please make sure you put on shoes or sandals, especially when you are walking in dirty places. I'm not meaning inside your tiles or your carpets there, then you start walking with the shoes. Of course, the house is clean, but wherever you are moving in dirty places, wear shoes. Very good. Uh, that is from Juvenile. Okay, let me get from another person also. Zosia, yes, Zosia, please, can you give us another one? Another way of preventing. Okay, how about Nakato Jen? Yes, Nakato. Do you have any other way apart from dewarming and wearing shoes? Do you have any other way? Yes, teacher. Aha, uh -huh, give us. By 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 washing fruit. Aha, uh -huh, very good. By washing fruits and vegetables. When yes. you get mangoes, you make sure you wash them before you eat. Very by good. By eating washed food, fruit. Uh -huh, eating washed fruits or vegetables. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, teacher. Teacher. Yes. I have my brother. Hey, your brother wants to give the answer also. He is the one who has given the, the answer. But he, uh -huh, I now can't, give you a, how he about can't you? Yes. How about you? Now you are two there, isn't it? Yes. But teacher. Uh -huh. You have given one. Now give himself. another one. Teacher. Yes. We, I can't rename that Nakato and Waswa. Eh, hey, okay. Next time I'm going to rename Nakato and Waiswa, eh? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. But one answer is enough for Nakata and Waiswa, isn't it? Yes. Uh, thank you. May God bless you. Okay. Thank, thank you, teacher. teacher. Uh -huh. So may, I like children who are very lively like this. Oh, you people, you are making me enjoy the lesson. Okay. So uh, members, uh, these are some of the answers that your friends have been giving. Uh, there is a child who said, put on shoes when walking. Uh, in a dirty place. So wearing shoes, that is what most of you are saying. Wearing shoes when you are walking in dirty places. Uh, there is somebody who also said it in the chat. I need to have that name. Okay, this name has disappeared. But of course, if you know that you have said proper disposal of human feces, okay, you need to use the toilets properly proper disposal of human feces and urine. Because if you have these tapeworms, sometimes you defecate them, okay? So you need to properly dispose them into the toilet such that uh, people don't step on them. So when you step on these feces, which are having hookworms, it can enter your body. And then also Nakato and Waiswa said, uh, eat well washed fruits and vegetables. Okay, eating well washed fruits and vegetables. So, and our friends there also said regular dewarming, regular dewarming. So you make sure that you take those tablets in order to remove those worms that are inside your, your stomach or your intestine. Then last but not least, you can talk about wash hands before eating and serving food. Yes, you need to wash your hands because you might have touched these, um, these worms. And once you don't wash your hands, you can easily eat them. So wash hands before eating and serving food. So basically, these are ways how you can prevent uh, tape worms. So in case you have a question, I uh, request that uh, you, can, you can raise it up, um, but otherwise, Thank you so much for paying attention.
And also for me, I have a question. I have here questions. If for you don't have, these are my questions, which I need you to answer them. And then we can stop there. Okay. So these questions also, you will find them in our Google Classroom so that you can be able to, uh, to give the answer. For example, number one is saying, how do we get hookworm infection? Who has the answer for that? How do we get hookworm infection? Alit Sarah, can you give us the answer for that number? How do we get hookworm infections? By eating unwashed fruits and uh -huh. all vegetables. Very good. By eating unwashed fruits or vegetables. Very, Very good. Thank you. That is from Sarah. Two, they're saying suggest any one sign of hookworm infection. Suggest any one sign of hookworm infection. Let me go and find my boys here. Okay, Keith, ah, Keith is not hearing us. Vicky, you have already participated. At least I want somebody who has not participated. Yes, Calvin. Yes, Calvin, you have been quiet. Can you give us the answer for number two, Calvin? Yes, teacher. Number A two, diarrhea. Read, read number two. Can you read it? Suggest any one sign of hookworm infection. Uh -huh. The answer is? Diarrhea. How about if they had asked for two? Another answer, what were you going to give? Loss of weight. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. That is from Calvin. He has been quiet, but at least I've got him. Also, let me look for another one who has been quiet. Aha, uh -huh. Prosi, can you come on? Prosi? Prosi, come on and read for us number three. Prosi? Mention two ways of preventing hookworm infection. Give us one. Through washing, wash. Eating well washed vegetables and fruits. Uh -huh. Eating well washed vegetables and fruits. Very good. That is Prosy. I've got her from somewhere. Then finally, I have your queen. Yes, queen. Queen, can you give us the answer? Number two, answer. For number three, queen. Oh, queen, you are not giving me the answer. Uh, Queen, you are making me annoyed. Okay, let me go to Millie Nachtende. Yes, Millie. Millie Nachtende. Put on shoes. You can go ahead. Put on shoes when, walk when walking in a dirty place. Very good. Put on shoes when you are walking in a dirty place and uh, so many others, regularly warming, wash hands before eating. So basically that is what we have looked at today. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much. For those of you who are new, we have the Google Classroom code here. You can use it to join the class. And then uh, finally, before we pray, uh, before we pray, I want to once again welcome, I mean, uh, thank Edify, for e-learning project. Uh, this lesson was really made successful, made possible with the funding from Edify. So we thank you so much, Edify Uganda, uh, also Christian school owners and the, and the ITAO ICT teachers. So thank you members. And once again, I, I, thank, I thank my learners. I really thank my learners for paying attention in this one hour and participating. So those who have not participated today, I know next time you are going to participate, but most of you have been participating in the chat. That is very good. So let me go ahead and now pick someone to lead us into the prayer. That was Elizabeth, I think. Elizabeth, I think you are still there. Akoro, Elizabeth, give us the closing prayer. Okay. Let some ourselves and reflect. Oh Lord, I thank you for the new day you have given us. I pray that you protect us 
I thank you for protecting our teacher. I pray that you also protect us through this coronavirus. And I pray that you protect us through everything we're going through. As other people are suffering and they're not studying, oh Lord, I pray that you protect them and give them their needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.